What's up, beautiful people? My name is Candy Crump, your neighborhood registered dietitian, and I'm bringing you the latest and the greatest on nutrition information. I'm bringing it to your doorsteps, to your porches. Today, I wanna to talk to you about wheatgrass. How many of you out there have heard of wheatgrass before? Wheatgrass is actually a superfood, and here's some of the stuff that it gives you. Wheatgrass is about 70% chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, if you know anything about that, is supposed to be the mega in benefits nutritionally. What chlorophyll does is it actually helps to increase the hemoglobin in your body, and hemoglobin is used to transport oxygen, to just purify and, and replenish our blood cells. So it's literally cleaning out our blood. I think I'm gonna talk about chlorophyll in some future videos. Wheatgrass is actually known as green blood and also liquid gold. Wheatgrass has 92 of the Earth's 102 elements. It's also been said to help with digestive issues, boot, boost your immune system. It has vitamin C, A, E, B vitamins, all of the essential amino acids. It actually has 17 essential amino acids. Y'all, we only need nine. It's got 17. It boosts fertility and actually increase your sex hormones. So something to keep in mind. And also, if, if all of that wasn't enough, it's actually been said to revert your gray hair back to its natural color. Yeah, the American Cancer Society, the Mayo Clinic, they all actually backed wheatgrass and some of the abilities of wheatgrass and chlorophyll. And here's the best part. You're probably thinking like, okay, this is gonna be one of those expensive superfood type things where I gotta spend all this money. It's the green blood, but it's also burning the green. No, you actually can plant it at home. Like you can grow it at home and you don't even have to grow it outside. Now it's recommended that you grow it outside so that you can get all the chlorophyll and the nutrients from the sun, but you can grow it indoors without the sun. You plant it, it's ready to eat after seven to 10 days. So you only need to wait about a week. It actually comes from the plant called Tritivum astivum, Triticum astivum. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Although wheatgrass comes from the same plant that produces the wheat grain used that used to make flour, the actual gluten is found in the seed kernels of a wheat plant, not in the grasses. The first little leaves that pop up out of the ground, and that's what we eat, and that's what's known as the green blood and the liquid gold. When I looked at the research and tried to find some sort of um, allergic reactions to this, I really couldn't find anything. They said that there was nausea, but that was kind of all I found was that there was a little bit of nausea. Basically, the chances that you're gonna experience side effects, the research is saying that it's low. But again, if you have any allergies to wheat or grass, you wanna be careful because even though it doesn't have gluten or it doesn't have wheat in it, it's still coming from the seeds. And when it reaches its final stage of growth, it is a wheat plant. So you wanna make sure that whatever seller you're getting it from, that they're reputable so that there is no contamination or cross-contamination of the wheat. You can eat it if you have celiac disease. It won't bother you, it, the, there's no gluten, so it's not going to affect you. Oh, another thing, when you plant it, you wanna also be careful that there's no mold and bacteria. Because you're eating it raw, you could get sick. In just 30 milliliters of a little shot glass, it's about a one ounce shot glass, you get about 34 grams of vegetables. So that's the equivalent of like a quarter cup of vegetables. Hold up, hold up. I do a quick shot of wheatgrass and I get all my vegetables, that's it? Well, not exactly. You still want to have a good mixture, a good variety of vegetables in there. You can do it as a wheatgrass shot. You can do it as wheatgrass tea. You can add it in your fruit juice. You can add it in your salad dressings. You can even add it in sauces 
And you know how I love my sauces. All of this talk about wheatgrass, um, I've only tried it once and I actually tried the grass. I bought it at Trader Joe's in 2020 when we were all quarantining. I put it in a smoothie and I liked it. I didn't have any issues with it or anything, but I just bought some wheatgrass powder. Let's whip this up. I want to try it. Um, you can try it with me and we'll see how it goes. So I actually got this at um, Grocery Outlet, y'all. Like. I don't know, but the grocery outlet, they have like organic things, vegetarian, vegan, like all these things that are going into grocery outlet. And it has me like, okay. Um, but looking at the ingredients and all, it's only one ingredient, organic wheatgrass powder. That's it. So I like the description. I checked the nutrition facts label. It does have like, you know, it's gonna taste like grass, but I'm just gonna do a one ounce shot of it and see um, how I like it and uh, I'll let you know. It looks like I can just add a tablespoon into my drink. Like I don't need to blend it or anything. So I'm gonna take one tablespoon and just mix it up. Ooh. That's green, green. Wait, it said a tablespoon, right? I have my shot here of wheatgrass. Um, smells like grass, straight up grass. So let's see how it tastes. That's good. Ooh. Okay. And when you get when you get to this part, it's tasting like chalk. <laughs> Grassy chalk. Ugh. Good thing it's only an ounce. But no, seriously, like the actual drink was good. Um, it's just when you get to the bottom and all the chalky powder is at the bottom. It's, but um, for the most part, it was good. Like I could drink that, especially with all those benefits. If I know that I'm getting all those benefits, like I'm, I'm good to have that in addition to my fruits and vegetables and all the other great things that I eat throughout the day. But I could eat that. That's good. Comment if you have ever tried wheatgrass before and let me know what you thought, like what were some of your thoughts on it? How did it make you feel? What did you read about it before you did it? Like, let me know, okay?